Hello, uh, my name is Alistair Munro and um, our product is a, um, a Jamaican product and um, it's Jamaican jerk and I suppose I'm here today to talk about um, the design um, aspect of what we do. Um, as you can see here we've gone for a very natural um, and recyclable um, packaging which kind of reflects um, the heritage of the product so to speak. Um, there's my grandma and um, grand uncles. Uh, the initial recipe um, was an old recipe that was created by my grandma, in fact, far behind her again, um, but really finessed by her. Um, what is the product? The product is seasoning um, that she used um, on meats. Um, as you can see there, chicken, beef, pork, goat, fish, vegetables. Um, it is a vegetarian product. And I suppose the method of the, the, the cooking comes from Jamaica. Can everybody hear me? All right, yeah. Okay, so as, as you can see there, it goes right back to the British rule. And obviously the Spanish before that. So it's a very, very old, if you like, um, concept and idea. Um, as you can see there again, it was originally the Arab Indians um, 2,500 years ago. Um, who were from South, um, South America and um, finessed this way of cooking. Um, it was obviously a technique to cure meats uh, whilst traveling. Um, this was a big common thing in Peru. Um, I've just written a small line there that basically states that um, we kind of know um, preservative at that time as um, using salt, but this was one step ahead to create um, a spicy, tastier um, addition. Okay, so going back to the brand, which I'm here to talk about, and why we've gone for this eco and clean and simple design. Um, naturally, because the product, um, what can I say, we try to keep the product as 100% natural as possible, um, so we want that to be reflective in how it sits on the shelf, so to speak. Um, as you can see here, um, it's, it's, a med, it's, a, it's a modern, healthy um, transition of where it came from. Um, the chili itself, that's a part of the whole process. It contains uh, more vitamin C um, per gram than oranges. So it's, it's got the health benefits, and we really want to try and push that. Um, it seems like the marketplace is dying um, for more um, natural products. Um, as mentioned, it's been in the family for generations, and the bottom line there says it's a modern interpretation of a Jamaican jerk marathon. Okay, so I'm, I'm basically the founder, um, like I said, of my grandma's recipe. Um, I suppose taking it forward, what I wanted to do, I wanted to connect, create a unique selling proposition. And one of the ways I found that would have been kind of interesting seeing that I live in Ireland would be to work with Irish companies. Um, so today we've worked with Irish uh, Teal and Irish Whiskey. Uh, we've done a special blend of those guys. Um, that's part of our unique selling proposition. And we've also done a blend with um, an Irish cider um, called Dawkins. I, I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with these brands, um, but they're very like-minded people like ourselves or businesses like ourselves. Um, our stockists. Uh, so we've worked with Harrods. Um, Donny Brick Fair found in Burns, obviously we stopped in Teelings. And um, the reason why I'm talking about this is because I suppose they've actually picked up on the look and feel of what we're trying to create. And luckily for us, I think, I, I, I think, well at least I kind of guess that they, they really get a grip or grasp of what we're trying to do in terms of our honest approach and eco approach of our packaging and design. Um, so we can talk about the solution. We offer a depth of flavor. We source the finest ingredients. Um, it's a healthy product, and we'd like to think of ourselves as an innovators. Um, competitions. Um, or we've got Grace Foods out of Jamaica, Levi Roots, which I'm sure you guys know about, um, and Walker's Wood. Most of these are Jamaican brands. Um, obviously, um, like I said, the jerk marinade is a Jamaican product. But by working, go back here, with the likes of these Irish um, companies, um, we can see ourselves being positioned um, with a unique um, brand and product. 
Um, another unique selling proposition is that the fermentation um, happens after about three months. Um, so that adds value, if you like. It's like, almost like a fine wine where we produce it, we leave it to sit for about three months and that enhances the flavors. Okay, so we're talking about um, what we're trying to do here in terms of our eco um, aspect. We tend to use a lot of cardboard, recycled cardboard. Um, there's a lot of design gone into our approach. As you can see here, some of the packaging. Um, reason for this is because, once again, we want to really push the earthy tones and values. Um, a lot of people say to us, why is our product so limited in colouring? And the thing I say is, um, a lot of the colours are actually within the jar. I know it probably sounds a bit cliche, um, but really what we want to do is try and um, I suppose try and highlight what the product is instead of trying to create all these mad images that people are probably used to seeing and it's probably reflective of what the product is but like I said we want to go down this new um, route in which it's about the product within the jar and we want to communicate that in the most simplest form. The typography for example that we use is a, is a, a, type, of, a, type, a type that's um, from a German institute and it was originally used for German motorways so I suppose the funny and ironic Part of that is we, we want to be seen whilst we're on the shelf as, as much as we want to be as minimal as possible. Um, once again, we, how do we look? We are a well-designed, refined brand. Uh, what makes us different to the competitions or our competitions? The Jamaican jerk marinade with tea and Irish whiskey and like I said, Alpen cider. Um, what do we do differently to our competitors? Well, we offer a product that's 100% natural. Um, I'll move on to this next page because I think it's a bit more graphic. So 100% natural. We don't use any citric acids at all, which personally I felt initially uh, that wasn't a requirement, uh, but that altered the taste somewhat. And I think the integrity of keeping the taste within the product was the main and the most important thing for me. Uh, low in saturated fats. And as I said before, uh, because we uh, do the fermentation process, um, that then creates this B12 attribute. Okay, so we're going to go to the packaging. So this is a very simple, um, if you like, um, diagram. Or this actually is what we actually sent to the printer. So this is actually the finished printed um, label. Um, as you can see there, um, it is very minimal. Um, but I suppose the secret is, um, it's actually sitting on the Jamaican flag, which is very subtle. I, I kind of felt me being British, my parents being Jamaica, Jamaican, probably adding that sense of designability to what we're trying to create is so important instead of going down the old cliche um, um, aisle, so to speak. Okay, as you can see here, there's just a few shots. I'm going to stop talking for a little while now and just probably just flick through some of these images. I think you'll get a, a kind of a general idea of what we're trying to create here. As you can see there, we really want to emphasize the fact that this is an this is an authentic product. Um, here's our tealings. Um, a lot of people have actually come back to me and said, you know, if it's a Jamaican product, why are you using Irish whiskey? Well, I suppose the answer to that is, is um, the original um, recipe called for a Jamaican rum. And a Jamaican rum actually came from the barrels and smoked by the barrels. And the, what I love about the tealing story is, is that we use their barrels. Um, a lot of the times they could be brandy or sherry um, bra um, barrels. So we're not actually playing too much on Irish whiskey. It's more about the fundamentals. Uh, the Maroons, if you like, were the first people um, from Africa to bring the, the cooking method over to Jamaica. And I suppose in a kind of ironic way, we've gone for a maroon in color. Um, I suppose that's keeping the story tight. Not, that's a, not, not that it's absolutely necessary, but for me, um, trying to be real to the product as much as I can, um, I felt it was kind of necessary. So once again, I'll just flick through these images so you get an idea. Um, this is the packaging I showed you. Um, once again, reinforcing the brand. Um, this is perhaps our Christmas and seasonal offering, um, where we just literally put a nice little tiny bow around our packaging. Um, a friend of mine, um, he got one for me for Christmas, and this is what his kid built. 
So we're really, really pushing this kind of recycle um, aspect. I didn't ask him to do that, by the way. It was just something he did. He's an absolute natural, I think. That's brilliant. Um, and once again, my influences would be Bauhaus, Ray and Charles Heems. Um, I'm actually a designer, so I'm sure you can see by that there's a, a real sense of designability um, within what we do as a, as a company. Okay, I'll just flick through these really quickly. So there's our identity. Um, we've moved from this identity to this one here. Most people wouldn't notice it, but it's just a slightly heavier font. Um, there's the typeface we use, very simple. Um, we're actually working on crisps at the moment, so there's the tea links offering. There's ours. Once again, very, very simple, very honest, straight to point, information based. Um, and this is just research. This is, I was over in Jamaica at the beginning of the year and decided just to take snaps of, once again, our color tones. Just, you know, just, just trying to get this real depth of what we're trying to do on the other side of the world, so to speak. Um, thanks for listening.